thanks for visiting. Uh, this is the trolley car circuit project. Um, what we have is a PICX 20M2 chip that's driving the system. Uh, we have a MD Fly AU5032 module. We uh, have a couple of features in this thing that is like a, almost like the kitchen sink. Uh, first we have this, the seven LEDs. Uh, first we have power and then we have the re the number of stops that has performed uh, then we have the directional relay the motor relay the high the low speed high speed relay the alarm indicator and then we have a heartbeat uh, one last thing we actually added to the last was the passenger stop feature um, what this does it was when we powered on um, it will go through the system and uh, check a couple things but it's actually going in on off of inputs based off of read switches that's based along the track. Uh, we do have some uh, random features uh, for some sound uh, and also the stops itself that it makes that it performs during the run it actually is all randomized as well. So let's go ahead and apply some power to it and you will see um, this thing start going in action. First thing we do we get power and then what it does is it brings up the heartbeat. The heartbeat uh, just pretty much tells the system that, hey it's running and uh, you can see what's going on. Uh, after it hits the heartbeat, it waits about five seconds. Then it energizes the uh, the motor, the motor relay here, as you can indicate down here. The two LEDs. Um, this is the forward direction and reverse direction. So as it goes along, um, it will start randomizing some figures in the in the pickaxe, and this will determine um, random stops, and the number of stops it can perform in a in a single path is. Uh, perform is determined by the two jumpers, and I have two jumpers sitting over here that determines the number of stops. It could be one stop, two stops, or three stops, up to those. So, if even though you have it set for three, it may only do one stop. It just gives that much random and, and variety. Um, as you heard the uh, the jingle, um, what goes on is uh, when there's a stop, it actually plays a, a sound clip of some like some commotion inside the cat or the trolley itself and just kind of gives us some customized feel and then while it's doing that it has some random sounds of, of the tracks being passed and stuff like that so as you can see um, here at the indicator it's kind of hard seeing it blinking but uh, that tells you the number of stops it has performed in a certain cycle the cycle gets reset every time it changes directions um, when the trolley starts off from the get-go, when the motor gets engaged, it will play a two-bell two uh, ding, and then the motor engages and keeps on going. Once it reaches the end of the track and hits the read switch that determines uh, the change direction that, is, um, that I'm going to push right here after the passenger stop is triggered, um, it will... Turn off the motor, wait three seconds, energizes the directional relay, and then engages power back to the motor relay. As you can see here, it has reverse polarity, and the motor would be spinning in reverse direction. As soon as it, as soon as it made the reverse direction, it played the two, two bell jingle, and it's continued on its way. Once it comes down through and hits the sensor or the, hits the read switch uh, magnet for the speed, it can actually energize the high speed uh, part of the motor and it will be in high speed until it hits the or the randomized for a passenger stop and once it does the passenger stop it will de-energize the, the relay as it's doing right now it waits three seconds for it completely stop plays this, a different soundtrack the, the soundtrack is kind of commotional or you can hear people putting money in the, in the, um, the, the coin dispenser and then once the soundtrack is done, it will then energize the relay in the same direction that was going, plays a two, two jingle stop, and then continues on. So a couple things that are built into this, um, that if we have a, uh, uh, a runaway trolley, per se, if it by chance doesn't hit and doesn't sense the change directional uh, reads, it will... I have sensors built into it that's called out of range, and that is emulated by this button right here. Um, if it if it hits those reads on a different part of the track, it will completely shut the system down, 
and it will stay down until you power cycle the whole unit back up. Um, then other features built into this, if since these this trolley will have a 12 battery attached inside the cab, if it has by chance jump jump track, um, it also keeps track of the change direction. If it doesn't sense a change direction with so many minutes, it, the system thinks it has jumped track and it will do a shutdown as well. And it will continue to stay off until you uh, power cycle the whole unit. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and tell it to do a change direction. And once we do a change direction, the um, uh, the remaining count goes back to zero, so there's no stops, so that is allowed for three more. It has energized the low low uh, speed back on the uh, motor. We got a random sound going. And just say, for instance, it missed the change of direction and it hits the outer range. The system shuts down. All the motors are shut off. We still have power indicator here, but now we have the alarm indicator that's lit up. And it will remain that way until power is cycled. So that is the circuit for the trolley car. I hope you like the uh, results and enjoy.